Hello, I am Nick, still. Uh, just real quick tutorial here, um, just for making some some god rays. So I've just got a little scene set up here, just something to light. You can replace that with a default cube if you like. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so there's a few things we need to do. So let's head over to um, render mode, and I am in EV. This obviously works in cycles, but well, I will switch over and we'll see what happens when we go to cycles. Uh, it's a bit noisy, but EV is just very quick feedback about the positioning of the rays and, and whatnot. So the first thing we're going to need is to encompass the scene with a cube. And we can just scale it up when I find it. Let me go into edit mode. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's up there for some reason. Why have I put the scene down here? Never mind. So we want a cube and we want it to pretty much encompass the whole scene. And for to position the god rays, it's very useful to have um, a top view, uh, in, a, in a top viewport view along with this one, because positioning will be far easier. So if you need to split your windows, just, you know, I'm sure you know how to do it. Anyway, so, yeah, we want that. We got ourselves a cube. Let's just check with X-ray mode. It is completely covering the scene, yes. We can refine this later, and all we need to do is I'm going to turn off Bloom for a start. Uh, I'm back in my camera, so we just need to select the the cube you just created. Click New in your Shader Editor, and this is just how I set up my workspace. It's very it's very fast. So, and you if you if you've got Node Wrangler, you can just press Shift S to switch to shader volume scatter if you don't have um, node wrangler you should press x delete the print board and shift a shader volume scatter and then when we plug this in everything will remain black or white because it's being flooded by the sun and simply bring the density down for now to 0 0.01 and we can clearly see we have volumetrics, but there ain't nothing blocking the light. And all we have to do is make something block the light. And normally the way I would be just very specific is I wouldn't have my sun lamp on. I've already clearly set up a light there. So I am going to add a spot uh, and the lights. So shift a light spot. And I just use this because it's very easy to position. So I'm just going to head into front mode. And let's say this there we want the rays to come from the red, from the east. And we want to point it at about the sword. Or in my case, the sword. For you, it could be a default cube. And it needs to be fairly powerful. So the quickest way to get it uber power is just type 1 M watt, MW, which I believe is megawatt. And then when we switch back to the view, it's going to be blown up. Okay, so we are now lighting, and all we need to do is put something in the way of the light. And there's several ways to do this. I'm trying to think, did I append a tree earlier? Um, one, one quick way is, well, it depends. I don't know how quick it could be, actually. But, well, if you have trees available... I have um, quite a lot from my infinite tree builder. I'm just going to import a tree. So any way you can get a tree into your scene, do so. It doesn't need to be textured or anything. You can even just make it in sapling. Um, yeah, just make it in sapling. And just put a load of leaves on it. And then I guess an umbrella pine would probably be uh, the best thing. And I don't... Once you've got a tree... Just you don't need any of the um, branches at all. You just want the leaves because we're going to put the leaves in the way, which they now are. Um, so I'm just going to go back into front mode, front view. So yeah, I'm just putting something with gaps in the way of uh, the fog. And if I go back to camera view. Am I, I've zoomed out. <laughs> As you can see, it's drastic. But you can see straight away we have God rays. And 
just by if you're with your top view that's why I think it's important to have a top view as well as your front camera view because as you can see you can really go to town with where do you want these light uh, guard rays to obviously we want to light in my case the sword but I can't bloody find it there it is so that's one way you've got guard rays but I think this is a little bit less um, editable than another way to do it which is well I'll show you so I'm now going to go back to viewport edit and there are a few settings we need to in fact let's just do that now so I'll give you the settings that I have blooms up to you um, I don't know why I've got screen space reflections on there's nothing that needs it and volumetrics I think I put the samples up to 128 and the tile size at two picks it just gives it some um, resolution uh, yep, if, yep I don't change them they're just on volumetric lighting and volumetric shadows and my shadow cube size is the maximum 4k because you want nice rounded shadows not blocky blocky okay so we're in edit mode viewport render mode so I'm going to delete my leaves and we're going to do it the other way if you don't have access to a tree or we have a, you've always got access because you've got sapling um, and if you watch one of my other tutorials there's one in there where I make a tree with some leaves so you can just follow that get the tree and then take the leaves bring them into this and bish bash bosh like I just did but this is another way so I'm going to add a plane and I'm going to position it in a useful position which that looks about right and then I'm just going to scale it up because I want that to completely block the light which it does for the scene and I'm going to go into top mode for this what I need to do now is I want to put control R, put a loop cut here because we don't need loads of resolution all over this thing but we do need quite a, quite a few subdivisions and I'm just going to I mean we're going to leave a bit of leeway there and I'm just going to subdivide these sections um, uh, just by in fact not doing that because it doesn't matter if they're engons it's just something to block the light so I've selected the plane uh, the face underneath the light and then I'm going to subdivide a bunch two three four five six that'll probably do it okay and now I'm going to press C to go into the paintbrush type select thing and make my thing real small and then I'm just going to select a bunch of areas um, for the light to come through because as I say we need some bits to block the light and some bits to not black the light and the reason this is editable may become more apparent and this is why I said this is more an, of an editable way of getting the god rays because trying to delete individual leaves trying to find which leaf it is that you need to delete because there's a bit of god ray you want on a spot and you can't get it that's way more difficult than trying to add a few faces or um, delete a few faces doing it this way and with Eevee these shadows will be blocky because they're very um, <laughs> they're very 90 degree angle jubby but anyway select a random bunch delete the vertices not the vertices delete the faces and that will leave us with this and then what we want to do is to make to quickly make them smooth we just i'm going to see uh, press c to select that thing again and we just want to select a bunch of vertices around where we made those holes because we can all smooth it out i mean actually the little single ones is not not a great deal of smoothing can be done with those and maybe we want some some of those types of very square holes so yeah just go around make sure you've got all the size of the big bits that you want to smooth because this is what we're doing we're just selecting faces to smooth I might have been able to do this by pressing by selecting all of them and then just doing smooth but I guess this is the way I'm doing it and then if this menu to your left isn't there press T and then hello and this one is smooth and you want to grab this yellow handle that appears and then just drag it to the right and as you can see they're now far smoother they're still a bit jagged but they're not as square 
might even be able to go a bit further than that. What happens if we go the other way? No, we don't want to go the other way. Uh, there. It just kind of rounds them off a bit nicer. So now if we head back to the camera and render, you can see we've got a lovely amount of uh, what's some columns? God rays. And again, just move move this about where you want it. And again, if you're trying to find the way I was, I needed when I was trying to light the sword properly, I just couldn't get the blade lit uh, fully. There was always like that. There's always a shadow somewhere. So what I would do now is I'd try and find, <laughs> find basically which which little hole. I would need to change. So if if this was the position and I wanted the blade to be lit as well, I just need to. Um, oh, sorry, is it easy to do it this way or to do it the other way? I think actually, let me get the blade lit as much as I can. There and now, if I move, if I make this plane quite small, I just need to cover. And once once the shadow disappears, I know I'm over the right spot. Oh, something moved. Where's that? I can't find it at all. Let me make that plane bigger. So I'm just trying to block the light on the blade there. And having absolutely no success. Hang on. Oh, hello. E. So I know that this hole could do with being bigger because then I'm going to. There'll be more light on the blade. So, yeah. So I know that it's around this area. I just need to let a little bit more light in or edit this shape and that's that's easier than trying to find which leaves are in the way that's why um, I tend to do it this way and uh, the volumetrics you can also if we select is that that's our volumetric cube um, oh, it was only supposed to be a quick one um, just put a noise filter in and then you can get kind of uh, gaps and fog and just put a color ramp in as well so shift a sorry texture noise filter shift a uh, converter color ramp and then just plot that in there give it a bit of contrast and then plug that into color and then the black is going to be where there's no light and the white is where there's some light so this just gives you a smoky feel if you uh, give it a bit of distortion as well you can get a kind of fluid like that you know like a fluid foggy type thing but that's it that's literally it um to get god rays and to control them bosh job done wicked i hope that helps quick and easy and uh, enjoy making pictures with some beautiful god rays beautiful until the next time bye